Hello, this is Crimson Space Angel. Let's play Pudding Deity, Weapon of Sweetness. This is another silly story mode in Acceleration of Suguri. This story could potentially spoil the ending of QP Shooting Dangerous, another orange juice shooter on Steam. So if you're concerned about that, look away. Pudding, the weapon of ultimate sweetness. It is said that its enchanting deliciousness once brought a country to utter ruin. Now, by a mere girl's hands, that fearsome weapon has been revived. That makes a total of one pudding. Not enough to share, sadly. But that's... You could just make some more, right? Well, you see about that, the ingredients. You're kidding me. So, do you guys want to just let her have this one? But I want all of us to eat it together! But... If there's only one pudding, it can't really be helped. Then what are you planning on doing? Sometimes, you have to fight for what you want, right? Well, wait just a second! I made this pudding with my own two hands, you know? So, what of it? I made it today, right now, just for me, so that I could have a snack. I would have liked to eat it together with everyone if it were possible, but in the end, there's just one in this little cup. Just enough for me. But you know, it's so cute. This cute little pudding made just for me. I want to finish off this little pudding. I want to experience its taste with my own mouth. So please, don't fight. Everyone, please understand. Saki. Please let this little one's final moments be inside of my mouth. I'm begging you. <sighs> I guess it can't be helped. Yeah. Then you'll let me have it? So we just have to beat Saki, then we can have it, right? You got it. Why? In other words, pudding battle. Round one, fight. Wait, please don't do this. I'm sorry, Saki. If you're going to say you're sorry, we shouldn't be fighting in the first place. And so began the war that would come to be known as Acceleration of Suguri, a war over pudding. So I suppose that is the motivation if you wonder why these characters fight each other. I guess they're fighting for pudding. Saki is a different character to play as. She kind of lacks methods of direct attack and focuses more on drowning opponents in a sea of spam, kind of like I'm doing now. The ring attack might look pretty broken, but in this game, and in most of the, well, in all the security shooters, I guess, any sort of laser projectile attack you can dash through. Dashing builds heat, and if you get hit with more heat, you take more damage sort of what the game's all about. So this could this could result in timeout. Saki versus Yiru. She's a sniper, and I'm just kind of flooding the field hoping something hits her. So pop a hyper here. The AIs don't really know how to dodge that hyper very well, so see it's kind of just shredding her. down to Iru's last health bar. I'm gonna try to pop a big bang bell. Saki's ultimate hyper requires that I get a little close, but it does a lot of damage if I can pull it off. Might be an opportunity. There we go. Took off half a health bar right there, but it also used all three charges of hyper. Arguably not worth it, but it's swag. Sliver of health. There we go. So in this mode, um, you only play as Saki. So if you don't know how to play her, this will teach you. As Saki, the other thing to keep in mind is you generally want to try and stay above your opponent if you can. Because of that Maraca toss being affected by gravity, you're going to be able to hit them more easily if they're in front and slightly below you. 
Monaco is another character that can't really directly attack. Sort of does the same thing in a different way. Be mindful of Nanako's hypers. Most of them give you a little warning as for when the sound goes off before they actually hit you. So if you know what they all do, you know how to look for them, you can typically dodge out of the way of them like there. I guess I'll try one of those energy ball hypers. Yeah, she has no idea what to do about that. This is an indie shooter. Even though the AI might seem a little primitive, considering it was coded by not many people. Pretty impressive work, I think. Balls out there. With that hyper, the longer you hold the button, the larger the energy ball is. So you can make a large one that moves slowly, or a smaller one that moves faster. It can be devastating to, if you've got the hyper gauges, make a big one and a small one at the same time. There we go. That would be a better strategy for humans because obviously the giant ball is pretty easy to dodge for a human player. Oh, this should be fun. Saki Kai. Remember how aggressive Kai was in Falling Wonder. Saki has got much less tools at her disposal to keep her off her back than Suguri does. One advantage of Saki, because she, because her attacks are more AOE, she doesn't have to worry quite so much about specific positioning as other characters. Therefore, she has to do less nervous dashing, and she typically builds less heat. However, a character like Kai is going to make me run around just by her nature, so... <laughs> That's one advantage that Saki might not have so much in this matchup. I'm not actually doing very much damage to this Kai either. Oh dear. Okay. Nope. A good human Kai would not be letting me breathe at all in this match. Try a big bang bell there. Uh, oh, she popped a hyper too. Uh, which is another reason ultimate hypers, the ones that cost all three, might not be such a good idea. If your opponent counters it with a well-timed shield or a hyper of their own, they only paid one hyper gauge for that. I paid all three. So let's go with the more responsible energy ball. There we are. These attacks do have official names. I'm sad to say I don't know any of them, really. Ah! Kai, settle down! Now for something completely different. Kyoko. Um, probably the most un-Kai character in the game. Uh, gonna want to be using the Barakas more than the energy attacks in this matchup. As they will punch through the ice better. Kyoko is staying way too close to me. Oh, that's another reason that those barriers will actually reflect energy back at you. Which is one of Kyoko's best methods of attack. Oh. Shield out of that. at how much damage she's taken. A couple of Maraca barrages should get her. There we are. Let's see who's left. Beaten. Iru, Nana, Kai, Yoko. That was an S, okay. Oh, Hime, alright. I don't think we've seen... Yeah, we definitely haven't seen Hime as an opponent. Uh, her AI is pretty good. 
typically the final boss of a standard arcade play, unless you are him, of course. Um, only on hard does Hime's AI really take full advantage of her kit, although you see she knows how to chain her chain melee into a hyper. But that's when you shield. Whoa, I've got a bunch of heat. I need to pull down a minute. There we go. You build up heat, just try and get away from the opponent, and then you do things to keep them at bay without having to dash a lot yourself. You will cool down. Hime's tricky because that chain has pretty good reach. But don't have a shield for that. Just save up. Maybe I'll actually use a hyper. Yeah. Could bail me out of a chain if... Oh, does that build heat? That might just straight up build heat when she uses that hyper. I mean, he may I didn't know that. I came to this game after it had already lost most of its online user base, sadly. I've really only gotten to play with a couple of friends. Oh, Suguri P. Alright, so Suguri has a couple of different forms, I guess? They're unlockable. I, I don't know if they only appear in this mode if you've unlocked them or not. But this one is kind of a hybrid between Suguri's normal form and Nanako. You see, she has her own bits. Um, unlike Nanako, she does have some sort of direct melee. So if you have access to Suguri B and you find Nanako's lack of direct attacking annoying, Suguri P might be a character to try. Don't know what the P stands for, nor do I know why she has a melon. Never had that adequately explained to me. No other references to it in the other games that I can tell. She is definitely putting up the most aggressive fight of anybody I've faced so far. I'm try to fell her. Got her, yeah. Sorry, everyone, but now the pudding is mine. Are you the one who wishes to obtain the pudding? Mao? Pudding has led countries to ruin, brought confusion upon the world, and caused much sacrifice. Even so, you still desire it? Who's there? Answer me. Do you wish to revive the weapon of ultimate sweetness? I didn't come this far just to give up. It's true. I can see now that Pudding has the power to destroy countries. It even got me into a fight with my friends just a bit ago. But is any of that really my little Pudding's fault? No, it's not. I made this little Pudding, and it hasn't done anything wrong. Now, I can't keep holding back. My stomach's at its best. My little Pudding, just enough for me, in this tiny little cup. If my stomach gets any more empty, it won't be enough to satisfy me. It's time to eat. If I turn back now, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. I fought for real against my friends in a desperate struggle for this pudding, and now I finally have it. There's no way I'll eat it with any regrets. You. You truly desire the pudding. Yes, I do. This little pudding will bring my stomach satisfaction. Then... You'll eat it over my dead body! Uh, who are you? I am the Pudding Deity. Eh? Long ago, when countries were falling into ruin, the creators of Pudding prayed to the heavens. They prayed to prevent the same mistake from being made once again. Their wishes reached the heavens, and so I was born. Ow. But that's not exactly true, you know. Those people really did pray to prevent their mistake from being repeated. But deep down inside, they felt the Pudding hadn't made any mistakes. They wanted it to fulfill its purpose, to bring people happiness, to bring back people's smiles. 
That is their true wish. And so I seek to grant their wishes, both of them. That's why I've appeared here today. That's pretty incredible. Sadly, it seems there's already been a petty fight over this pudding. I definitely want to grant those wishes. I asked you a question before. You answered it. Your answer was that you truly wish to eat the pudding. Yes, you're absolutely right. Very well. It is time for the final test. That thing you said before? Yes, you will eat it over my dead body. You must overcome me and lead the pudding to happiness. That is her... I mean, that is the wish of the pudding's creators. I understand. I'll overcome you, Miss Deity. Very well. Let us begin. Secret character time. We get to fight QP. QP, obviously from QP shooting the first original Orange Juice character. QP is the most broken character in this game. Um, she's not too bad as an AI, actually. It's mostly just human QPs are... She's got some very abusable moves. Um, that one's not great. That, okay, she's kind of spamming that one, actually. Wish she'd stop. Her melee quotation marks. I kind of hope she... Yeah, that's it. The stars that surround her. I think that's what really makes her a problem. She can kind of just exist near somebody with those stars out of range for them to counterattack with melee. Still doing damage. Not much you can do about it. Pop some hypers here. She's actually... There we go. Until then, she was doing a good job dodging my attacks. Oh yeah, no, we just comboed her there. Yeah, that's how good double energy balls can be. We just about got her here. Try one more of these. Get one Maraca down there. Got her. All right. Down goes QP. Ow, ow, ow. I wish it didn't hurt so much. Oh, shoot. I skipped the ranking there. Might have been a good one. Now, did I win? Not yet. Something as small as that will not be enough to defeat me. Why? Your desire still isn't strong enough. It isn't enough to grant those wishes. But, Miss Deity, you're already in bad shape. It matters not what becomes of me. I was born only to grant those wishes. Even if I am at the brink, I will not allow myself to die until they are granted. You understand, don't you? Ow, but... Are you saying that you don't mind never eating pudding no matter how much time may pass? But, but... You even defeated your own friends just to get it, did you not? But, Miss Deity, if we keep fighting... I don't mind. I'm doomed to disappear either way. You know, we're really similar. Our characterization is the same. That's why I can't stay here for very long. But that's... That's why. That's why you have to fight me with everything you've got. Put your mind to it. Give it your all. Oh. Oh. You said it before, didn't you? You don't want to have any regrets. I don't want to have any regrets either. I want to make those wishes a reality. Not just those of the Pudding's creators, but yours too. Even so, you hold back? My regrets, your regrets, both of us will be left with deep regrets. Now, I won't hold back. Okay. I won't let a single regret remain. Thank you, Miss Saki. Now, yeah! My little pudding. I'm sorry I kept you waiting for so long. it was just a dream? Maybe. So that's how Saki killed all her friends and became the new goddess of pudding. Or something. Like I said, it's silly, but it's cute and fun. I do love this game. So those are the two story modes. Um, all that's really left is 
random arcade plays with other characters. If anybody wants to see a specific one, let me know. I'll do them. Otherwise, I'll probably just pick my favorites and go from there. Maybe a Hime run? Kai. Kai would be fun, and that'd be over in five minutes, probably. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you for some arcade runs, I suppose. Don't know how to end these. <sighs> but does anybody really know how to end a video? Everybody I like doesn't know how to end them. Blah. These credits are long! Stop it! <laughs>